Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to create a title like this in Adobe Illustrator uh, using that software. So you can use this kind of title for your game and for your video or something else. So let's get into the video. Okay, I already have uh, created a new file and I have uh, placed some colors these are the colors that I'm going to use in my title uh, okay first I'm going to uh, write my title let's say my title is mango all caps okay so I'm going to change the font size I have used the Rific font for this text. You can download this font. Uh, I will put the download link uh, in the description. So I'm going to change uh, the font size, say 160. Okay. Next, I'm going to uh, bend this text a little bit for do that. I'm uh, going to object and lob distort make with wrap okay uh, let's say 50 all right okay now I'm going to change the color of this text to a gradient color to do that, I'm going to appearance and I'm going to the text. First, I'm going to expand this object, object, expand. All right, now I'm going to the content and you can find a fill in here but you don't have to do that just click this right here so you can add a new fill into this uh, text all right now you can change the color of the text into gradient if I click this now my text is in gradient so I wanna add a gradient color to do that I am going to choose these first two colors first one is this and the second one is this and this will be uh, upside uh, up to right bottom up to down type uh, direction gradient like this okay so this is my first step uh, in my title okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this text press alt and drag I'm going to put uh, line in the center and I can center this as well okay now I'm going to uh, decrease the size a little bit like this and I'm going to change the color of the little uh, text into the third color okay for do that select the text choose this color and I'm going to position this in the back bring uh, send to back all right now I'm going to position this to up little bit like this okay 
then I can fill the gaps between these two uh, layers. To do that, I'm going to choose this pen tool and I can draw shapes to fill this. Okay, now it's done, and I I can see some kind of 3D uh, kind of text in my title. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, put some shadow into this text. Uh, to do that, I'm going to uh, draw um, a line uh, around the text. So let me show you how to do that i'm going to start in here and i'm going to start to draw in like this so to do that before you do that i'm going to undo this I can put my color into something like black and I can make some opacity in the color so I can uh, see the whole text even if my uh, new color is uh, cover with cover in the up so let me adjust the opacity okay like this okay now. all right uh this uh, parts I left because I want to make a curve out of this line so what I can do is I can just drag uh, the line like this and make a curve and in here um, I can use this tool direction tool and make the curve in here Alright, now I have created this shadow. Um, now I'm going to put this in back. Click this and but uh, but first uh, I'm first of that I'm going to add the line uh, around the shape like this. Now I can put this in back. Click the shape. 
send to back all right so now i have a shadow uh, be, uh, behind my title i'm going to the layer section here and i'm going to select my shadow this is my shadow this is the shadow and i'm going to change the color of the shadow to this one the final one but i can't see see any changes because this color has uh, this color is only filling the uh, only filling the fill part it doesn't do any thing to the line uh, around the text so i have to do it manually i'm going to select the color code copy it and select my shadow i'm going to the this type uh, this uh, border color section and paste my color then i'm going to increase the uh, thickness of the uh, line so now it is kind of getting there now uh, the final part i'm going to do is i'm going to draw some uh, circles this will be white circles there are no border i'm going to draw this in this area so i can see those and just randomly drag some circles now i'm going to uh, select all and make this as a group then i'm going to alt drag to um duplicate like this i'm going to select all these things from here to here all right now i'm going to do something like this let me show you i'm going to select the upper layer text and select one of these group then i can select this tool shape builder tool and click the outer part not the inner part outer part like this 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 and this uh wait this 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 here 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 all right then i can i'm going to do the same thing in the here but i can see some some of them are uh, uh, overlap so i'm going to drag a little bit like this okay then again the upper layer and the second also the third you can do the uh, both thing at the same time this this 
is here, here, and here, 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 here. All right, I think that is it. Uh, that's a bit much. Okay, now I'm going to select the three groups and make them ungroup. All right, now I can delete those circles. Not the inner types, uh, inner uh, designs. Like this, this, this. All right, so that was the final part, but I want to do something, uh, just one thing. I want to add some shine or shimmering into this text. It's a real easy thing. I can change the color to white. I can add something like this. I can add these uh, things to the whole text. All right, uh, I can do uh, one last thing like this. I'm going to uh, add some gradient into these circles. I mean, after this position, you can do whatever you want. Uh, as you feel okay I'm going to group this Uh, let me put some opacity. Alright, I think that's cool. Okay, so this is uh, the final title you can see. So you can make a title for your game or your video or something else uh, in Illustrator like this. So I will uh, come with another tutorial next time. Thank you.